Okay, another fun part. What we're about to do right now is walk through the steps of setting up our URL file locker to where people are, of course, going to access the software, the Photoshop CS6 software. And this is a step you probably learned month one or two, but I'm just going to walk through it anyways. Let's go ahead and log into one of my CPA Grip accounts. And let's go over here and go ahead and create monetization tools. URL file lockers and create new. Of course, you can see all these lockers. This is the one I use for. It's like so many. It's unbelievable. It's for I use this one I use for all my trainings. But I'm gonna go ahead and agree. And we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a beautiful template from the CPA Grip template site. Just make it look professional. CPAgriptemplates.com. I don't know why I think it's easier just typing it in Google. Maybe, may not be, I don't know. But we're going to we're going to get one of these templates right here. Let's go ahead and simple file download. Let's do the simple file download right here. Read more. And of course you go to advanced. You most likely see me do this already. And let me go and copy this. And remember, if you did forget CPA Grip Templates, it just give it, it's a website, it's actually a blog that gives us templates for CPA Grip Professional HQ. Stands for High Quality Templates. That's what it is. I don't know who the owner is, but you know they're doing us some very, they're doing us some good just by giving us some templates that we can just copy and paste, just like I'm doing now. So what I done is I copied the CSS, of course, and I'm a Paste it right there. Then I'll go over here and copy the HTML right here. Copy that. Copy. And I'll paste that right there and refresh. Watch what happens. Of course, you may already know. Bam. Gives us a very professional looking template. So all we have to do is click on general and see this. This is a name that nobody will see, so I'll know exactly where the um, conversions and commissions are coming from. And of course, we want to go ahead and add in file name. Go to advance. Let me go to the HTML. I want to find where it says file name. Let's scroll down. File name, there we go. It says premium. Okay, so I'll put Photoshop, Let's see, Photoshop CS6. CS6, refresh, there we go, file name Photoshop CS6.zip, and that's all I got to do. Let me put the URL, the locked URL, of course I got to log into SmartShare. Well, I'm going to smart share. Let me get that link. Let me say, okay, here go my link, copy, go over here, paste. That's all you got to do. This is all you got to do whenever you are ready to create your URL file locker. And once again, of course, I've already been over this part a thousand times, but I just wanted to run through this anyway through the whole entire Photoshop CS6 niche to show you exactly how this is done. And of course, you can use another domain if you want to use, um, if you have your web hosting account already, you can download the file like we done in month two. Let me create, click get links, and you can click custom domain and download the file and upload it to your hosting account onto a domain name, name if you want to. Or you can just simply grab, grab the link right here and start promoting. As long as you're not promoting on like, Facebook or Instagram, you'll be okay just using um, one of these links right here. But if you're promoting on Facebook or Instagram, you definitely want to you definitely want to use them your own domain name. But in this case, of course, we are not using our own domain name and we are not promoting on Facebook and Instagram. So this link is perfectly fine to go ahead and start embedding into our blog posts. So before I move on to the next parts of the training, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and copy this right here, and I want to head over to our blog. 
Here go the blog right here. So let's just click on a post. Edit post. And remember what I told you I was going to do. I was going to just go ahead and put those links in. So right there. Let's see. Make sure that's all highlighted. Turn it into a link. There we go. Link settings. You can make it open a new tab if you want, or you can make you can just make it click through. Let's just make it click through. Okay, that's good. That link is good. See, it's a different color. Right here. Paste. That link is good. Right here. That link is good. And of course, you got to get this one. The main call to action right there. That link is good. We'll update. View post. And let's say I'm a visitor just checking out this Unlock Adobe Photoshop CS6 article. And I'm just checking it out, scrolling down. If I don't, if I somehow miss these bold highlighted links, once I get to the bottom of this article, I'll see this call to action right here. Gain access to Photoshop CS6 free. I click through and it takes me to download it. Whenever they click begin download, that's when all of the magic happened. And you will do this for every single blog post that you create. Remember, you can also put your own banners over here. So if I want to go to Canva and create a nice banner for my niche blog, I can do that also. But the bottom line is, as long as I got click through banners and links, I will make money. It doesn't matter if, if I'm in the the home improvement niche i can be in dating relationship niche the photos shop niche the content creation niche it does not matter what niche i'm in as long as i have call to actions and thing that pe things that people want in that will, they will click through and get access for free trust me when i say this it's nearly impossible not to make money so this is all you have to do right here in order to of course, set up your content locker and embed those locker links within your post. 